Talk about setting the bar high for adolescent romance. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen drama couples. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most iconic romantic couples from teen television dramas. Tell her, Amy, I'll ask you. No problem. Thank you. Number 10, Jess and Rory, Gilmore Girls. Trust me. I don't even know you. Well, don't I look trustworthy? Maybe. This entry may be cause for some debate, as Rory has several significant relationships throughout the run of the show. But Rory and Jess made every bookworm girl believe she could find a bad boy who loved to read as much as she did. And that's special. What do you have to say to me? I love you. These two definitely had their ups and downs. But as the series progressed, Jess matured into a great guy who wanted the best for Rory. There weren't many people in Stars Hollow rooting for these guys, but viewers certainly love them together. Come with me. <laughs> what? Come with me. Where? I don't know. Away. Number nine, Styles and Lydia, Teen Wolf. <laughs> Nobel is a prize for mathematics. The field's been also the one I'll be winning. While their initial story may have been one of unrequited love, with Styles harboring a crush on Lydia for years before anything came of it, Lydia eventually came to realize she felt the same way. It took many seasons of shippers hoping, but in season six, after some earlier teases, these two finally confessed their feelings to each other, and Stydia became a reality. And come on, wasn't them finally getting together all the more satisfying because we had to wait for it? I love you. Styles and Lydia care strongly for one another, and are deeply committed to keeping each other safe which, given the lives they lead, they've had ample opportunity to demonstrate. When I kissed him, that's when it all changed. Number eight, Ezra and Arya, Pretty Little Liars. Come on, Ezra. Wake up. This student-teacher relationship may be somewhat controversial, but Ezra fans will be quick to tell you that there's nothing creepy about it especially after the show jumped forward five years in its seventh season. I don't need to know what we are tonight. I just need to be with you. This on-again, off-again couple has broken up and gotten back together in almost every season of the show. But viewers know that they're meant to be, even when Ezra and Arya themselves may doubt it. Let's go. Go. Now. Fortunately, this is one TV couple that got their happily ever after, with an engagement, a wedding, and even plans for an adoption in their future. These guys are in it for the long haul. Arya Marie Montgomery? Will you marry me? Number seven, Nathan and Haley, One Tree Hill. We got married last night. Lucas and Peyton may have been intended as the main romance of the show, but they were easily eclipsed by Nathan and Haley. These two have been through pretty much everything together, from car crashes, to kidnappings, to school shootings. They've shared many kisses in the rain, and despite some ups and downs, have always come back to each other. Stay with me tonight. Oh, I was hoping you would say that. After the series jumped forward several years, we got to see what Naley was like with a child in the mix. And of course, they were the perfect parents. They made us believe that maybe high school marriages actually can work out in the end. You just need the right partner. Thank you for believing in me, Haley. Thank you for being worth it. <laughs> cool. Number six, Pacey and Joey, Dawson's Creek. Boy, this is fascinating. This is one story where the protagonist doesn't end up with the girl next door, and it makes so much sense. From the beginning, there was chemistry between Dawson's friends Joey and Pacey, even though Joey did end up with Dawson for a period of time. I don't know why. I don't want to talk anymore. What are you trying to say, Joe, Pacey? Why are we standing? There's I don't. Comfort. Take comfort wherever you can. The tension between these two was always undeniable, and you'd be hard pressed to find any dedicated viewer of the series who thought that Joey made the wrong choice by opting to be with Pacey over Dawson. I remember everything. In the finale, 
they finally made the decision that fans thought they should make all along, ending up together after many years of strife. Are you crying? <sighs> you got me. You got me. Number five, Seth and Summer, the OC. It's all over the big public man Seth and Summer may not have had the drama that Marissa and Ryan did, but they were definitely the most adorable couple in Orange County. This is a classic tale of opposites attracting, with popular girl Summer falling for comic book nerd Seth. Makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, but even if I thought it, I wouldn't say it. Their banter and bickering made them feel totally relatable, adding some much-needed levity to a show that otherwise had a habit of taking itself quite seriously. We're so happy these two ended up together. Captain Oates and Princess Sparkle forever. What are you doing here? What do you think, Colin? Number four, Finn and Rachel, Glee. I have to tell you something. Though the popular quarterback dating the artistic loner trope may be a staple of teen movies and television, Finchel proved to be so much more. Sure, their relationship may have gotten off to a rocky start, but as it progressed, Finn and Rachel proved to have a very real and deep connection. Break a leg. I love you. Of course, this on-screen chemistry was only intensified by the fact that Leah Michelle and Corey Monteith dated in real life. Sadly, Monteith's sudden death brought an abrupt and tragic end to this ill-fated TV relationship. Though we may have never gotten to see the fairy tale ending we all wanted for Finchel, this couple will forever be immortalized in the hearts of fans. Rachel Berry, will you marry me? Number three, Damon and Elena, The Vampire Diaries. I wanted to dance with you today. Of the many couples on The Vampire Diaries, Damon and Elena are the undisputed fan favorite. In fact, in an E! News showdown, they were actually voted the number one TV couple of all time, beating out many other pairs from shows with passionate fandoms. It's been a very, very long road for Delena, having experienced countless roadblocks and ups and downs over the course of their relationship. Vampire romance always has that dark and dangerous quality that makes it so enticing. But even by vampire standards, Damon and Elena's is a love story for the ages. Number two, Chuck and Blair, Gossip Girl. I love you too. In a stark departure from the Gossip Girl books, Chuck and Blair became the most rooted for couple in this dramatic series set on New York's Upper East Side. From their steamy initial hookup to their happily ever after, this somewhat dysfunctional couple gave fans plenty of intrigue. All I ever did was love you. While Serena and Dan may have been the slightly more wholesome and predictable couple to ship, Chuck and Blair were all about the excitement, the drama, and of course the breakups and makeups. And viewers couldn't get enough. And by the power vested in me by the great state of New York, I now pronounce you man and wife, you may kiss the bride. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Now that's what I call friendly. Yeah, I mean, if that's her idea of a platonic relationship, I would love to see what happens when she decides to get physical. What's she gonna do? Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. I have been wondering how Eli staged my favorite scene. Let me guess, act one, scene five? <laughs> when Romeo and Juliet first meet, how did you know? You seem like a romantic type. <laughs> what? Number one, Angel and Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Angel. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Buffy Summers has major relationships with two reformed vampires throughout the run of the show. And while fans are split on which one they like more, We've got to give this title to the more iconic of the two pairings, Buffy and Angel. Long before other vampire romance hit the teen drama TV scene, these two were playing out the inevitable dramas that occur when one member of a couple is undead. I love you. I love you. Their love wasn't meant to be, but for the seasons they were together, our 90s hearts couldn't get enough. I ain't getting any older. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.